Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. We are now on episode 15, which is it's just a cool number, I really like it. Well, in today's episode, I hope to finally take down expert mode Skeletron. I kind of, uh, I had a half-hearted attempt at it the other day, and then I kind of let it rest, and then we're going to have another crack at it today. But I actually did a little bit of off-camera work today, and it was kind of mod-related, but it actually wasn't the Calamity mod. So, I, kind of, I, I tried to stick to just the Calamity mod in this series to try and keep everything nice and organized. I, of course, have these two mods here, which are uh, by Jopo Jelly. But I decided to go with a mod that I showed in an earlier episode of ChippyCraft on my main channel. Which will auto-fish in the game for you. Because I have been moaning on and on <laughs> for 14 episodes previously that I can't be bothered to fish anymore. Because I'm not actually the biggest fan of fishing in Terraria. I think it's very boring. Like, I think it takes way too long. And like, no joke, like, what can ruin a game is 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 this busy work like when you have to do little things that you know are just so pointless and you know you know i love terraria i play it every day it's like my favorite game going right but i've never been a fan of the big fishing mechanic because it just takes too long <laughs> i swear when me and python were trying to record like the one weapon challenge and such it would take so long fishing that it would spend we'd spend like two hours fishing and then we'd have to record and then you're already burnt out by that point anyway that aside rant aside <laughs> we're solving that today with the auto fisher because <laughs> i'm excited to see if it worked right so i spent ages setting this up and because uh, <laughs> it's a proper elaborate setup and then um because i actually just set up today to actually just do fishing now i was like no 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 <laughs> i don't want to do this so I want to go and see if it worked. I hope it's worked because <laughs> it would allow me to be lazy and uh, I, <laughs> I kind of want it. I feel cheeky about it just for even having it. Like, oh my god, James, you're so lazy. Like, you uh, you have a job playing games. <laughs> you can't even play games. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, here it is anyway. Uh, just a usual body of water. I actually have uh, this set up before. I, uh, I use this little water trick to fill these, by the way. If you guys have never seen me do it, you must have by now. But for once, it, actually, you know what? I can't do it out here. But basically, you just hold click here and it fills it up. Hey, it's actually done it. So this is like, well, that's pretty rubbish. Well, actually, you know what? I would say that's pretty profitable. I left that for like 10 minutes. And that is actually, having an ebon koi there is well worth that. Well, well worth that. That's a... Uh, yeah, that's something else. That's really, really cool. Right, I can actually start actually collecting fish now. Yeah, I'm actually uh, setting out to uh, to uh, do a fisherman's run. I'm not really. Uh, I'm just setting up fishing mechanics so that we can just make potions in the future. And then it's never going to be a case of, right, haven't got any ebon koi for this fight. So I'm going to fish for 10 minutes. And I have to so I have to snow. Snow, I don't want it today. I, uh, I actually have a second one set up. So we're going to go to the second one. And then that should take us to just before the uh, Skeletron fight. So let's uh, let's dive down here. I actually just built this down here. Once again, I actually set up this one first to actually just be a normal fishing spot. Uh, somebody actually mentioned to me the other week, um, her, did you actually mine out all that granite? Yeah, I did. Because look at this. Look at this granite biome. You think that this is what a granite biome looks like? I mined out all of the corners. And somebody was like, her, her, I don't believe you actually went and got all that granite. I don't know where that voice comes from. <laughs> oh, God. I'm in a very uh, funny mood today. I'm just having a good day. Uh, let's see. Anything? Nothing from you. Maybe they don't work together. That's the interesting point. That's the interesting point. Uh, they don't work together. I actually just uh, I actually just uh, spawned these in, by the way. These little... Oh, there you go. These little auto fishers. I actually just put them in the world. And the reason is, is because it uses a... Uh, a crafting recipe that you have to play the uh, the story in the mod to get. So, like, it's it's part of a mod that wants you to play an adventure map. You have to play that adventure map to make the actual uh, to make the actual thing. So, I just spawned them in because obviously I can't make it anyway. So, you know, it, I, I think it's fair. I think it's fair. Like I say, I, I really didn't want to do fishing, and uh, I like uh, that mods can solve it. So, onto the mod recipe, uh, the mod catalog. Now we have item recipe. Boss checklist, um, 
Calamity and Skyblock mod, which is outdated at the minute. But that's that's it working there. Right. Well, I didn't get a uh, I didn't get an armored cavefish, so that is us, you know, kind of out of luck there. But I did get the ebon koi. So let's actually grab some fish. Let's grab some uh, day bloom. Let's grab some mushrooms. Let's make some potions and let's uh, let's do today's fight. I'm excited because we didn't uh, we didn't beat it the first time. And that's okay. Today we will probably be it. I'm just going to be focusing on the actual um, on the actual arms today, not the arms, just the head. And uh, I'm just going to leave the arms alone. So let's see. Right. Okay. Let's see. We need some water bowls. Okay. We've already got some. So I'm going to take a day bloom and a mushroom. Okay. And I'm going to make myself. Actually, I should just be able to make it from here. I never stand close enough to this. So a regen. And an iron skin, right. And then if I go and get our fish out, our ebon koi, I should be able to, if I've been good and kept all my things, yeah, make a wrath potion, right. And then I don't have any food. So, real quick, how do you make food? So, bass at a cooking pot, maybe? Yeah, bass at a cooking pot. So, let's make a cooking pot. Let's see, how do you make a cooking pot again? It's been a while, actually. It's been such a, such a time, I can't remember. Tell you what, I need to get my uh, my iron ore to make some iron bars. So let's make let's make a few of these iron bars. It's probably like eight, right? Let's see, eight. That'll do. Okay. Open up the recipe browser and we'll place these in cooking pot. Where you at? Okay, cooking pot. You need ten and two wooden bars or well, two wooden planks. Okay. So let's make two more. One, two. Okay. And then I should be able to make myself a cooking pot. Bam. Awesome. Put the cooking pot down. I've got the bass in my inventory and I should be able to make some cooked fish. Okay. Awesome. Right. So it's time to actually go and do Skeletron. Going to be really good today. <laughs> I, just, uh, I want to address something uh, from yesterday's episode. I, uh, I was trying to say yesterday at the start of the episode... We've been in a corruption, <laughs> we've been in a corruption world so far, and we're off to a crimson world, right? But as you guys can tell, I was clearly too tired to be uh, to be talking about words like that. I uh, I actually said yesterday, we're we're in a crimson world, and I've really enjoyed it, and we're off to a crimson world because it's going to be good to go in a crimson world. And oh, do you know? My God, it's it's <laughs> on YouTube when you record a video. You look back in a few weeks and you're kind of like, ooh, don't like that, right? Because you never like your own work. And then um, to to completely not like a video within 24 hours of making it, that's impressive. <laughs> oh God, I do say some stupid stuff though. I never mean to. Right, let's do this. Okay, so. All right, accessories are in order. It, this this all should be good. I mean, this was a, uh, a close call last time, so. Okay, buff up. All right, okay, our little uh, minion is sticking to him. So we don't know if that's going to be good or bad yet. All right, but I'm going to be sticking with the head. Is the minion doing too much damage? You know what? It's one of these questions where I want to know your answers straight away, but I can't just ask it straight away. I have a feeling that... The minion is probably doing too much constant damage to, for me to get a blow in, a blow in, a, an attack. What, what does that even mean? Right. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Hopefully that's not. Uh, no. Oh, see, I did what I did last time. I got stuck in the, uh, in the head of it. Right. Yeah. That seems to be uh, going down a lot quicker. I'm gonna stick to uh, just using my sword then and uh, leaving the minion out of it. Okay, just got to be careful this time, because it, it's it's the panic thing. When you actually get stuck inside of the uh, the knockback cycle, you just you panic and then you uh you double tap out of there. That locks you in for another like second and a bit, and then it just gets rough. Right, the schools we avoid the schools, and it's all good. Okay, I've already destroyed. I've almost destroyed one hand. I don't want to. That was one thing you guys were actually recommending. Just don't destroy the hands. Okay, 19 seconds left on a heal, so I'll probably get two heals in this fight, which is good. Okay, I'm trying to consistently dodge and also get a hit in, which is hard to do because the, f the more I fly into the sky, like the higher I go, the, the, the further we move away from the light source, which of course is not great because I, I can't see. <laughs> so I just kind of go with what I naturally think the uh, rhythm of the skulls would be. And then I naturally aim where I think the head might go. 
that's that's the general rule here. Okay, I almost thought I was going to get caught in that then. See, I don't know if I'm landing my shots. Oh, I've actually destroyed one of the hands. Am I about to destroy the other one as well? I think I am. I think I'm actually about to destroy the other hand. Oh, okay. Almost got stuck in it then. Okay, it's good that we have the Wrath Potion because we're actually doing more damage. That's good to see. No, no, don't get stuck in it this time. No, no, no. Don't panic. Heal up. Okay, move to the side. So this is what happened last time. I, uh, I was in my stride for ages and then I got out the stride. So I've got to stay in the constant stride. It's hard to predict where his, uh, where his little flying head's going to go. It's, it's getting a bit annoying. All right, okay. I've uh, managed to dodge past that one. I'm only doing 10 damage a tick. Hmm, is that good or really bad? <laughs> it's probably bad, right? I probably do need to destroy the second hand. Okay, where's his head gone? I actually can't see it because it's so dark. Okay, come on. Just let the falling star hit it. Okay, this is good. It's spinning. It's spinning. Okay. We are only a few hundred away from a victory. Okay, that did 33. I'm trying to just avoid his head. Come on, just come spin at me. Spin at me, dude. No, no. Hey, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. Right, we are one step closer to the Knight's Ray, our uh, our fabled magic weapon we are going to craft. Okay, so in here, we are going to uh, loot a few chests. Now, general rule before we go in here, general rule, uh, I'm usually very bad at noticing when keys drop, right? That is a sin of mine. I will admit it straight up right now. I, uh, I will miss keys. And uh, I won't realize, and I'll even say silly things like, Oh man, I wish we had a key at this moment, when we probably already do. It's a big sin, I wish it never happened, but it does. It happens when I record, because I, uh, I get distracted. I don't mean to, but uh, it does happen. So, I'm, uh, I'm acknowledging it now. Please don't hate me. <laughs> okay, okay, right, let's go. I, uh, I do try to strive to be better, by the way. Like I will actively try to... Uh, to think about our keys here. Okay, first one, shadow key. Happy with that. So we'll take... You know, I'm going to leave the chest because I don't actually need it. I already have myself a bookcase for crafting. So that will do with some spells later on. Okay, we picked up a golden key. So we should have two. Okay, that's good. That's good. Right. Hopefully, we get an obsidian shield. Because uh, I've had worlds. The past two worlds have not had obsidian shields in when I've done... Uh, little playthroughs. Okay, picked up a golden key. So we now have three of them. You know what? I'm actually getting golden keys a lot easier than I've ever done before. I swear I usually get them less frequently than this. Okay. Man, do you know what I could do with? I think there is a mod. I think there's a mod. I think it's called the less grinding mod. I could do with one of them. Right. Let's be clever. Take this. Summon two. Put this in our inventory. Alt favorite it. Okay. Cool. We were clever about that. Right. I'm just looking for uh, for chests now. I'm just scouting around. Picked up, did I just pick up two golden keys? No way. Six. Six golden keys. I've never, ever been that lucky with golden keys. Like, ever. Wow. It's not even like they're like that great. It's just that I've just never had them that frequently. Have they changed them recently? I do wonder. You know what? That's the thing about RNG. Like, I could come here today and have great luck with keys. And then the next 100 worlds, I could have horrible luck. But, you know what I mean? Because everyone's different. Everyone will disagree about how rare they are. Okay, magic missile. That's uh, one step closer to the night's ray. Okay, I just want an obsidian shield now, and I am actually just good. Like, I, uh, there is not much I actually want from here, unless there is some cool modding things, which we should definitely check. But, the good thing is, you guys seem to know everything about this mod, which is great, and uh, you guys can help me out if I make some stupid mistakes here, about thinking things are not materials when they are and such. You guys are pretty awesome at that. Okay, flaming wheel. Okay. Alright, health is low. Health is low. It's gone to the point where it's like, okay, an arrow, a dart trap would probably take me out right now. Oh, 
Ooh, the Kraken. I love the Kraken. Oh, the Velour, sorry. Rather. Okay, this wants some health. Let's see. Okay, got some health from that one. Hey! Slime... Key. Key slime. Dungeon slime. What are you called? Dungeon slime? Yeah. Oh my god. We are carnage. We are carnage. Right, I'm going to take the uh, imbuing station. Alchemy station, rather. Don't know why I called it an imbuing station. Is that the name? <laughs> I don't even think that's the name of the other one. I'm just making up words here. Unless I'm not. Unless the imbuing station is something later on. I don't know. Okay, right. Um, obsidian shield? No, blue moon. Okay, not happy with that. Because it's pretty rubbish. Unless it's a crafting recipe, which it probably might be. Okay, right. Golden chest. Was that the uh, engineer? The engineer just died then? Okay, hey, obsidian shield. Right. We are good to go then. Like, I am satisfied now with uh, what we've got. And I'm going to leave behind those gold bars. But that is, uh, that's looking pretty good. Let's see, is the blue moon a material? No. Okay. Right, we may as well open up the rest of them. But so far, like, the shadow key, the, um, the obsidian shield, it's just, it's just all good. Like, that's all just good items. Magic missile? Oh, not magic missile. Water? Oh my god, I'm getting... Aquaceptor. There you go. I'm getting all the names jumbled up. I tried to explain this to somebody the other day, and I explained it as there are now, like, nearly 4,000 items in Terraria. Like, it's, it's like, really easy to forget names, but to look at them and go, oh, I know exactly what that is and exactly what that does. Like, it's very easy to do that. I'll take the grab potions, take the heal in, and I'll leave behind the glow stick. Right, cool. Right, that's actually going to do it then. I don't need anything else, unless you guys... Uh, can uh, notify me tomorrow about anything I need. I think I am actually done. All right, let's look at this crafting recipe. So, something to address. There is two versions of the Knight's Ray, right? One is using the uh, Crimson Rod that we got yesterday, but you actually need the blood samples, and that's actually from the Crimson Boss that we did yesterday, the Perforator. We didn't beat it, of course, but it's important to know. Hey, that's a... Uh, huh, that's a hard mode thing. So... Vilethorn, Amber Staff, Magic Missile, and True Shadow Scale. We can do that. We can actually do that. We'll actually do that tomorrow because the Amber Staff is not that hard to get. It's just the Vilethorn. And what I'll do is I will uh, keep an eye on corruption chests in the uh, in the fishing mod. And then if not, we'll just make a new world and uh, we'll go blow up some chasms tomorrow. But we'll get it done tomorrow. We're going to make a Night's Ray tomorrow. So for the one person who comments it all the time... I'm super happy because tomorrow you get your wish. <laughs> That's why I like the Calamity mod. It's got loads of cool little things and it's kind of brought us all together. Right, I'm going to quickly check the uh, the fishing mod before we leave today. And then that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm actually pretty happy with today. Like, I think I've, I've not messed up many things. I've, I've messed up a few names here and there. But I don't think I've gone around spouting that this is a crimson world <laughs> when it's not. I feel good. Henry the Clothier. Hey! Chippy Gaming's moved in. When are they going to give it the name Chippy or James for the cloth here, guys? When's that going to happen? Hmm? <laughs> When's that going to happen? What? Oh, my, my God. What on earth? <laughs> okay, right. So, I wear an Apple Watch. And uh, my Apple Watch just beeps me and went... And this is what it says. I'm going to read it out to you. Tear in there, for I don't think I've got around spelling. This occurs when it's not feel good. Hey, stupid game on today is Chippy or James for the coffee. That's not nice. <laughs> it must have activated Siri. And then when I was talking about the cloth here, that's what it must have said. Oh my god, there is loads of things here. There is loads. Okay, let's put this stuff in here for now. Let's put this stuff in. And let's go and grab... Let's go and grab this stuff down here. Siri, man, why are you the absolute worst? Okay, so what was that? So we got... Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. We actually got a range of different biomes, didn't we? So, like, Atlantic Cod 
that's a uh, that's an ice biome, right? Huh, interesting. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.